Hello, this is Captain Moser from the U.S. Army Graduate Program in Anesthesia Nursing. Ondansetron is the generic formulation of the drug and is available in 2 ml and 20 ml vials at a concentration of 2 mg per ml. Zofran is the original trade name which was marketed by GlaxoSmithKline and is also available in 2 mg per ml vials. It's also available in the oral form in 4 mg and 8 mg tablets. Ondansetron is a carbazolone derivative that is structurally related to 5-HT or serotonin. It possesses specific 5-HT3 subtype receptor antagonist properties. This makes Zofran a selective 5-HT3 receptor antagonist which prevents binding by serotonin to the 5-HT3 receptor, particularly those found in the vomiting center and the chemoreceptor trigger zone. Certain types of surgery, anesthetics, and chemotherapeutic agents may release serotonin from enterochromaffin cells in the small intestine. The binding of serotonin to 5-HT3 receptors at the, at the chemoreceptor trigger zone, the GI tract, and the vomiting center is believed to cause vomiting and or nausea. Zofran selectively binds to these 5-HT3 receptors, pre preventing serotonin from activating them and inhibiting nausea and vomiting. This is a picture from Katsung illustrating the relationship between the 5-HT3 receptors from the GI tract and small intestine, the vomiting center, and the chemoreceptor trigger zone. Nausea and vomiting occur when afferent signals from the small intestine, vestibular system, or vomiting center reach the chemoreceptor trigger zone in the area prostrema of the fourth ventricle. Surgical manipulation and or certain anesthetics cause the release of serotonin from chromaffin cells. Serotonin binds to 5-HT3 receptors in the small intestine or vomiting center. The binding of serotonin to 5-HT3 receptors opens ligand-gated ion channels. This causes an influx of sodium along a concentration gradient that allows depolarization of afferent nerve fibers leading to the chemoreceptor trigger zone. This results in the sensation of nausea or the occurrence of emesis. Ondansetron is believed to block the 5-HT3 receptor from binding with serotonin. This inhibits the sodium influx that would lead to depolarization of the afferent sensory nerve that stimulates the chemoreceptor trigger zone. Zofran initially rose to fame as an adjunct to chemotherapy. For the prevention of chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting, a single 32 mg dose is administered at least 30 minutes prior to the induction of the chemotherapeutic agent. For anesthesia purposes, one 4 mg dose is typically given at least 30 minutes prior to emergence. It takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes for Zofran to have its effect. Therefore, administration should coincide with onset to prevent post-operative nausea and vomiting on emergence and in the recovery room. Peak times for Zofran vary but are typically thought to be around 2 hours. Its half-life is 4 to 8 hours with a clinical duration of 12 to 24 hours. Undansetron is metabolized extensively by the cytochrome P450 drug metabolizing enzyme system of the liver. Undansetron itself does not appear to induce or inhibit the CYP450 system. However, inducers or, or inhibitors of these enzymes may change the clearance and therefore the half-life of the drug. For anesthesia, Zofran is indicated for the prevention of post-operative nausea and vomiting. As for contraindications, Zofran has minimal side effects and is generally well tolerated in most patients. Uh, the blockade of 5-HT3 receptors has been reported to cause headache, dizziness, and constipation. Uh, min minimal QT prolongation does occur with this drug and it should not be given to patients who already have prolonged QT or if they're currently taking high doses of medications with the potential to prolong the QT interval.